clubs in the world to get and one of the easiest ones to lose and they need to be on there on top of their game at all times. I just saw some people standing on the corner back at the local gas station here. It looked like they were going to fight. I'm going to circle back around see if I can figure out what's going on and maybe prevent them from fighting. Some sort of 415 at Shell, Riverside Foothill. I'll be out with a couple. Pull right here and talk to them. All 50. What's up, man? Have a seat for me, guys. Have a seat for me. Hey, have a seat. Get off the ground. Come on. 50, I need help. You better back up. Back up! Back up! Back up and get on the ground! Back up! It's me, 50, I need help. Get on, put your hand behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Get on the ground! Sit down! Get him! Take care of him! Yes. Why am I? Why are you stupid at that? I got nothing on you, I'm not a fool. You're the fool. 50 for code 4. Why are you tripping on me? Huh? Why are you tripping on me? You on parole or probation? Nothing. No, just these two. No. Get him, get him up and get him, pat him down good. Get him in the car. You're under arrest. Yeah. For what? Get up. Well, tell me for what? Get up. Tell me for what? Get up. Tell me for what? You got a taser? If you don't get up, you're going to get tased. 50, lift the 33. We're code four. Pat him down good. Have it, get him in a car. Get up. You're going to jail. Well, who was fighting and what was it all about? Was yeah, somebody was fighting because I saw it when I came around the corner. All of a sudden, I saw when my husband run. Right. I saw that. Right. He did run. So why did he run for me? Do you know? I don't know. He okay. doesn't have any warrants. He doesn't okay. have no warrants. That's He's fine. He's under arrest now, though. Why? Because he resisted me. Okay, but and then he turned. He okay. Run. Okay. Okay. I understand that. Yes. What's that? More than well, man, we're gonna deal with all that a little while. We're trying to get to the root of what's going on right here, no, right it, now. It all started with just me and my boyfriend. Cause he was drinking, and I didn't want him to come outside. He wanted to come outside, I guess. Whatever. He started walking down that way. I didn't want him to go anywhere because we live so far away. And if he's drunk, he's probably gonna say he wants to go home or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I went over there and I, I got him and me, I was pulling him back this way okay. and I ripped his shirt. And you his shirt. ripped his shirt, the okay, then that must be what I saw then. Yeah, that okay. was me, that was me, because right. I wanted to pull him back home. He's heavy and I'm heavy and so, I, yeah, okay. that was me. That so was why, me. then why are the two in the white, why, why are the two of them grabbing each other? Because he was hugging him, trying to get him to come back. Because I came back crying, because I couldn't get him. He wasn't okonna leave me. Because when I saw him, they were grabbing on each other, pulling on each other. They're best friends. Give us just a few minutes, I'll come back and get your name, okay? Well, we're going to go contact one of the guys we have detained, just to get his side of the story real quick, to see what's going on. Hey, what's going on here? Come on, sir, you know what's going on already. Huh? You see, I've I, I seen what you see. Well, Come why on. don't you give me your side of the story, though, man? I shouldn't walk away. Look at, look at my, look at my, my, my shoulder. Hard. It's hard. Who ripped your shirt? I don't know. This. You all right, though, other than that? Are you injured? Do you need paramedics or anything like that? I'm trying to get home, that's all. Okay, so what happened? Why, who was fighting with the girl? Was that you? I was trying to leave from her, sir. Why, were you guys getting into it? Well, no, I mean, no. why were you trying to leave? She's all jealous because her best friend came to her baby shower. Uh-huh. And I was going to go get my beer friend, and she got all jealous, that's all. All right. We'll get you transported. Uh, for being intoxicated in public. They're both real intoxicated, uh, so they're both going to go to jail for public intoxication for now. Yes, sir. You all right, man? I'm all right, man. You all right? Let me ask you something, man. Yes, what? sir. What were you running for? Because I know how you guys are. You know I mean, I know that I'm out here. Uh -huh. I was born and raised in East LA. I, okay. I know how you guys are gonna look at me. You been in the pen before? I've been busted before. All right. And and I was afraid that I was gonna get busted for something I didn't even do. Now let me ask you this though: yes, when you started to run away from me and then mm -hmm. I caught up to you, you kind of mm -hmm. squared up on me. What was that all about? If I did, you know, I'm sorry. Okay. But I don't remember doing. It. The other question I have is when, when we went to the ground, you grabbed a hold of my gun. What was that all about? 
Do you remember even doing that? I swear to God, I don't remember doing my that. My gun was in the holster when you and I were fighting on the ground no, and you reached why, up with your hand. Why would I do that? I mean, you didn't grab my gun is what no, you're saying? I, didn't. Okay. I know I didn't. Oh, no, I know you did because I kept having to take your hand off of it. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. That's what for, I'm asking. For something I don't even know. I don't even do. I didn't even do nothing. All right. I'm, I'm sure you, you already checked me. We're going to get you over the station. We're going to get you uh, you're under arrest right now at minimum for being intoxicated in public. We'll get you over the station, take a few pictures of you, get you a ticket. And uh, you may get released a little bit later on, okay? All right, so I understand that. All right. He, he, he's hard because you hit him. Okay. That's why. All right. I don't think that's what happens either. when you get in a fight with the police, ma'am. I know. I know. Okay. Yeah, but I wasn't doing that you, man. All right. Pero corriste, amigo. Corriste. ¿Para qué corriste? You know what? I'm the easiest. You don't want it. Well, so am I. Ask everybody. Until you start trying to fight with me. Come on, what? Because I'm going to go home tonight. I'm going to go home to my family tonight. Look, honestly, that makes sense? Yeah. All I was trying to do was get through in here. Okay. Because he was drunk. But I don't know you and I don't know what you were doing. Look, I And when I asked you to sit down so I could get to the bottom of it, I you took off running. That, right? So you took off running. Look, you could look at my record. You could look at me. Uh huh. And you'd be so confused because I look a certain way. I know I do. It has nothing, nothing to do with what you look like. Come on, man. You from out here, man. You, you look like you were going to fight that other gentleman, sir. Oh. That's why he stopped. It has nothing to do with the way you look. All right, we're going to take you to the station, okay? We'll get you transported. Okay, you are covered on your call sign. What's the raw? If someone can check the other side of the 215. There's a dark and color SUV. I don't know what the plate was, but uh, that just went 215 from the I-15. Uh, officers are following a apartment bait car that's set up when someone steals it. We can track it. Uh, it's got a camera. Uh, dispatch can shut it down. So, we're going to see if we can catch up to them here. Units are covering. To advise Southwest or if someone can check the other side, there's a dark and color that just went 215 from the I-15. Acknowledge WMA white shirt. One, uh, is there more outstanding? Full pursuit, full pursuit. I'm in full pursuit. Is that one item, one in foot pursuit? No. Oh. No, it's too early. Why did you hijack him? They're signing New York, New York. Why did you hijack him? I can't find you. Why did you hijack him? Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Give me your hand! You will get tased! Give me your hand! Give us your hand! Give me your hand! Give me your hand! There. Right there. The here, just pull him back. Just get him back out here. There. Right there. Yeah, I got cuffs. Come on. He's bleeding, be careful. All right. Get up. Control 183, we're code 4, one in custody. 182, copy, what's your location? On top of Canada, you know? I don't know. I'll see if I can. Down, they were westbound. It was blue, and it was all right. Spread your feet here. That's a firm. I was advised there was just the one. Can anyone else advise? Stand up. Is there another outstanding? Turn around. I have a knife okay, right here in my boxers. Can I did you copy? We just had the one and he's in custody. When I pulled up, he basically was ducking behind the car and he slid under the SUV over there. And we ha we pretty much set up a perimeter around these cars and then uh Finley found him hiding under the SUV, and that's when we took him to custody. Yeah, he's fast, but he, out, he can't outrun a radio. Why were you driving the Escalade again? Because my buddy told me What's your to drive name? the car. What's your buddy's name? Huh? What's your buddy's name? Hey, off. He's got a no-bail warrant for PCS. Okay. How long you known your buddy? A couple weeks. A couple weeks? Yes, sir. You say you're tight with him? Are you drinking buddies? You trust him with your life? I don't know about trusting with my life. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't, even, so, I don't even think I trust my best friend with my life. Yeah, okay. So he told he told you to drive 
his car. Where were you guys going to go to? By Charleston and Lamb. Charleston and Lamb, that's where you live at? No, not to my house. To he said house? just drive it to the east side because he wanted to drive my car. What we had was a bait car. When the vehicle started moving, dispatch was able to, uh, they're able to see where it is. We have a, a satellite and they're able to uh, track it and then shut it down. And once they shut it down, the other unit ends up getting behind it. You end up chasing for about, what, a good quarter mile distance? A little bit more than that, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. That's pretty good. I'm pretty proud of you. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's good. That's good. Uh, run up this way, and then everybody else converged over here. And then where did uh, uh, Officer Saxon and, Saxon. and uh, Garth caught him? He was hiding under one of the cars right, right down here, about halfway down okay. this lane. And then these two people, there were two people over here before, witnesses who were able to point him out. Right. So that was good work. And then we, yeah. we learned later in the investigation right. follow up is that these are the same suspects that were involved in stealing a car several days prior to that. Two different. And, and then one yesterday at Mandalay Bay where you right. took a report and the vehicle or the uh, the chase vehicle, the vehicle that they were showing up in, and this guy was getting into the cars to take them, right. was the same vehicle as we had tonight. So we're doing a follow-up with that now. Viper's coming out, and these are p people that are probably responsible for a, a, lar a large amount of our stolen vehicles. A lot of them are uh, SUVs, Escalades. What's your name? Ron. Ron? Yes. Hey, Ron, did, uh, did that Hispanic guy punch you yesterday morning? Uh, no, he didn't. The one that jumped in the back of your car? Um, excuse me? The one that jumped in the back yesterday morning at the Mandalay Bay. Nobody jumped in the back of my car yesterday. Nobody jumped in the back of your car yesterday? No, I know he did because I have you on video. Okay. You guys, you and two other guys, were in your girlfriend's car at the Mandalay Bay yesterday morning trying to steal a 2004 black Cadillac Escalade. And the victim came out and you said, oh crap, that must be the owner. You jumped into your car. He tried to jump in and get you and you guys screamed off. He got your plate number, and that's the car your girlfriend's driving right now. My girlfriend's not driving the car. Somebody is. She's at work. Oh, she's at work. Who's driving the car right now? My buddy P. Your buddy P? Well, we know who that Lexus is and who's driving it, so. Ooh, that's probably a $500 wheel. Oh, yeah, that's not good. That's still, I mean, still, for that, not it's much damage, now. considering he did that much damage to other people's cars and more. Roan, do you understand what's going on? I want to know what that you understand happened. you're in possession you of a stolen vehicle? So why did P tell you to drive that car? Roan, hello. Wake up, buddy. Stand up. Wake right. up, answer his question. You haven't done any drugs tonight? No, sir. Nothing. How come your heart rate's going 100 miles an hour? Your heart rate's 140 right now. I just ran. Well, it's been okay. probably 15 minutes since you ran. Now, well, then how come my, answer, my officer answer the that case question? I gotta sit down. How come the officer that chased you doesn't look like this? He's in good shape. He's a cop. Come on. Really? Ron, you're under arrest for possession of stolen vehicle, tampering and injuring a vehicle, and probably another attempt stolen vehicle. Most common misconception that people have about police officers are that uh, the only reason we show up is to take everyone to jail. And that's not true. We try to help people through just about any way that we can do the job without doing that. Uh, however, taking people to jail sometimes becomes part of the job, and it's something that does have to happen from time to time. Ground four. 144 tonight. 144. All right, we're being dispatched to a physical disturbance between neighbors. Uh, dispatch advised that the people are still fighting in the yard at this time. 48, if we have somebody close, we'll be out. 49 is clear for myself, 48. 144. Hi. What happened? They all left. They, uh... He, he hit her in the eye. Yeah, kind of. Let me see, let me see you. Okay. Yeah, right here. Wait, 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 wait. How old's your son? 21. Almost 20. 21. 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to check, I'm going to check the house, make sure nobody's, yeah. nobody's okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Go ahead. Watch your back. All right, go ahead. Let's here. You Michael? Yeah. Just hold up right there. I know y'all are going to take me anyways because I got warrants. 
Okay, okay I'm gonna warn you all Alright, what, what's going on? <laughs> See, she was been drinking and she took my girlfriend's car. And I told her, please don't take the car because you've been drinking. And she took it anyways. And when she was drinking, she kept on drinking. And, 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 then, and then she came here and started running her mouth on me. She started running her mouth at me. Okay. And I said, please don't. And then she, she we got up, got up in each other's face. And then she grabbed me. And just all of a sudden just said, whoa, like this. Uh -huh. Into my face. With her now. And I kind of, for, I kind of like wrapped up with her like this. Okay. To hold her like that. And I told her to please calm down because she's been drinking. Mm -hmm. And I, and I kind of, somehow we got into the house. And then I got her down like this. And I said, please stop. Okay. And, I said, and I tried. I was trying to calm her down because the kids were crying and everything. I said, "Stop!" I said, "You need to stop. You need to go in there and sleep." And she would not do it. Okay. And then she just started. She started grabbing me every which way. She started hitting on me, and, and then and then I told her, "Please stop!" And I said, "Just calm down. You've been drinking. You need to stop." Okay. Did you strike her? No, I did not. It, it might have went when I hit her when she fell onto the ground when we fell to the ground. Okay. I said, "Please stop." Do you have any other injuries on you here? No. Do you think of on your shoulders, back, or anything? No, I do not. All right. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat right for a second for me? You're a grown woman. You need to tell me what happened, okay? We was coming up to the house to uh, mind our own business. Okay, at what point did it turn physical between you and Michael? I never even knew it was between me and him. Well, now he's got visible injury on his face. You have visible injury on your face, and you're telling me you don't know that it ever turned physical? No. I, I, no. Because I did not know. No. You're not telling me any information about how you guys got into a fight. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't understand how how we got into it. Okay. <laughs> really, to be okay. honest about with you, sir. I okay. Really don't. Did you Did you strike him? No. No. no he, did he strike you? He striked her before she got out of the car. Okay. Hang on. Some. Yeah. I no. I never no. 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 I no. You're telling me no one struck anybody. There was no I, fight. I, 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 I never struck no one to start you, with. You got him right here. Did I kind of scratch him when he, when he told me? Got him right here. I wasn't trying to. Where did that happen at? When they was when they were fighting? Were they on the front porch or were they in here in the house? Part of it was in the house and some of it was outside. Did you see him punch her? Did Michael punch her? Kinda. Kinda. Did he do it with a closed fist, or how did he do it? Closed fist. Punched her in the, in the face? Okay. What's your name, sir? Ryan. Ryan, I thank you very much for your cooperation, bud. Michael, you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. I'm going to clarify it for you. The reason that you and your mom are going to be going to jail tonight. It's domestic violence. That's right. It's disorderly conduct because both of you are engaged in a fight. Well, okay, you're both equally involved in the fight, okay? You have access to a phone? Cell phone? Your girlfriend doesn't have a cell phone? Yeah, she has a cell okay. phone. Okay. Call 911. That's what we're here for, okay? No. All right. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to get you in the car here, okay? <clears throat> we'll get everything squared away the next day or two, Michael, okay? Step out of here, please. You want to step over here? Put your hands behind your back for me. I let go, Jim. Yes, ma'am. You're both going to be arrested for disorderly conduct Friday tonight. All right. Thank you. I got to go, jail, Ryan. I'm sorry, ma'am. That's all right. Okay. That's all right. You understand why you're being arrested? No, not really. Okay. Well, like I explained to you before, you were both obviously involved in a physical disturbance tonight. You have visible injury. He has visible injury. And as your children and he told me, you both were involved in this disturbance. Okay? You can't do that. Regardless of whether you're drinking too much or anything, you can't go putting your hands on someone else. Right. Which is very right. clear that you did right. due to his injuries. Right. Okay? And I told him the exact same thing. Right. Right. I understand that. That's what we're here for. You call us yeah. if there's that big of a problem that you can't right. get along right. before things get physical, you call yeah. us, okay? Yeah. All right, let's step your out here. Sticky. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right. Hey, sir, stupid. Hang on. <coughs> Before any of this type of stuff happens, you should have been calling us because there's no sense in this going Whatever. on between you and him. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Whatever.
We've got both mom and the older brother are going to jail tonight for disorderly conduct fighting. The two younger children are going to go into protective custody and we can wrap this up for tonight. 134 vehicle just blew the light at Lemon Owens not pursuit. We're going to be setting up spike strips. We've got a stolen car. Frank, too, I just spike stripped him at Carrie and Lambs. He hit the strips. Okay, we just stopped six the vehicle. We're going to be going northbound now on Lamb from Carrie. Suspect still fleeing. I got his tires. Frank, too, we got a lot of smoke coming off the tires. Teddy towards the desert area. If we get a unit on Boulevard and Marion. You need to take Boulevard and Marion and Got the vehicle, Crystal Peak. Frank, you went north. Pinion Peak. North, Pinion Peak. That's for a minute if he's out of the vehicle. face now put your hands on top of your head cross your feet bring it up to your butt bring your feet up to your butt hands behind your back stand up roll over roll over roll roll sit up Stand. How many were in there? We were four. Patrol one, Frank two. Suspect states there's still two more outstanding. Stand up. Where'd they go? They're in the Frank two, my female here says they continued on eastbound down Crystal Peak on foot. Walk this way. Yes, me. Yes, sir. You know, one Frank, two. From where I give you my light, Can female I? state that they both continued system? eastbound. They may possibly have them. Sounds like he's got the uh, guys hiding underneath the car down here at the end of the street right now. So what, what did you think when he took off and went flying down the street? He got scared. And he almost hit me at carrying like me. Did you see how close he was to hitting me and killing yeah, me? Yeah, I was in the back seat and he scared the hell out of me. Okay. What, what was he up. saying when you were flying down the street? He was trying to get away. Well, he wasn't saying, he wasn't anything? saying anything? at all. No, he didn't well, say we anything young. at all. The girl, well, her and me were just fighting me. We were just like, hey, you know. You almost killed me, man. You know that, right? What were you thinking? You're just high on the meth? You weren't? No? You almost hit my car. What's up? Bad choice, all right? We're gonna step over here. He's gonna take a couple pictures of you, okay? <clears throat> Where do you want? Right over here? Can I just get you to stand right over here? Just turn face this way. He admitted to me that he uses methamphetamines. Face this way. This part of the methamphetamine pipe we found in his pocket. It's going to be the residue from the methamphetamine. This end sharp, possibly got broken when he was hiding on us. Uh, usually there's a ball end on the end that they put the methamphetamine inside. You know why we stopped you tonight? Yeah. Why is that? Possession of stolen vehicle. Possession of stolen vehicle. How'd you know the vehicle was stolen? When they're supposed to, they're supposed to be pulling over. Uh-huh. He took off. He took off? Yeah. What, what did he say when he took off? Nothing. Nothing? What, what happened once you guys hit the spike strips? The tires. Tires, what happened to tires? The tires came off. When the tires came off? Yeah, was it smoking yeah. pretty bad? Yeah. What did it sound like? Like, 
smelled like nasty. Like Fire? Yeah. Okay, so what happened? Then you came around the corner here and parked the car, and then what happened? We all started running. You got on and started running because you knew it was stolen? Okay, these are our spike strips. We keep them in our trunk and we deploy them if it looks like a vehicle's not gonna stop. Uh, what it is is it's just three uh, pieces of uh, just cardboard inside of here. Inside there they hold these quills, is what they call them, and they're hollow. And what happens is we just throw these out in the road and like you saw, the uh, vehicle runs over them and then it just slowly defates their tires so that hopefully Whoever's driving the car will have a chance to slow down and safely stop the car. Obviously, you can see it's very effective. It let the air out, but then the uh, guy stole the vehicle, continued to drive when both tires went flat. And like you can see with the uh, front tire here, it's been totally shredded out. There's nothing left. But uh, luckily tonight, he didn't hit anybody. He didn't kill anybody. He just a uh, little minor property damage, a few new tires, and the driver will have their car back. Lane County Sheriff's Office is a great agency. There are many different facets. We have a great canine team, air patrol, uh, traffic unit, to all of our detective units, a great bike squad. It's just a really productive, hard paced agency. We're um, entering into a neighborhood, uh, one of our neighborhoods down on the south side. It's a really great neighborhood. However, uh, recently, um, there have been a lot of burglaries and a lot of criminal activity that have taken place in this neighborhood and the, um, the residents in Leon County are just tired of it. So um, we're going to just check it out. Looks like we got a car that's a, I can't get a tag on it, parked right in the middle of the street here with its brake lights on. Uh, we're going to get out with them and uh, see what they're doing. <clears throat> You can stay in the car. You doing all right? Everything good? Yes, sir. Your lights on. You just stopped in the middle of the road. You got your your rear lights on, like you driving, but you just stopped in the middle of the road. You basically you're, you're causing. Oh, I. You're blocking traffic. She didn't know this is her car. Is it her car? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And we oh. were just sitting here. I didn't know it was too far over here. I didn't know. Okay. Now I'm moving. That's okay, you don't have to. Is there any drugs in this car? No? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know? No, sir. Because it's not your car, okay. right? Okay. Hey. All right. Do you have any weapons in the car? I'm fine. Oh, not no? Me. I'm fine. How okay. are you? I don't right. care no weapons or nothing. There's, there's nothing legal in this car, right? I mean, you got no drugs in Let me tell you why. I smell some weed and, and I see some on your pants. Okay, well anyway, so what we're going to do, I got probable cause to search this vehicle based on my observations. Um, the young lady's going to step out to that deputy and you're going to step out to me, okay? Okay. All right, man. Okay. You got nothing on you, right, bud? No, sir. Okay. It's black and black. What's that? Okay. My, uh, wallet That's fine. You okay? Step on, the, step on the front, okay? Right here on the front. Put your, put your hands on the front. You got nothing on you, right? No, sir. Okay. Just hang tight right here for me, okay? Yes, sir. Don't go running or anything, you understand? I ain't going nowhere, sir. Okay. I'm not going nowhere. What's, what's that? Look. See that? That's why that's why I'm searching the vehicle. Okay? Because you got this land, you got this land all over you. Okay? Now listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. If you just tell me where it is, okay, there's a likelihood that I won't take you to jail for something like this, okay? There's a roach. You just finished smoking a roach. Right. Give me your right hand. Give me your left hand. You're under arrest for possession of crack cocaine. What? Possession of crack cocaine. I don't have no Det crack. Detainer for a second. What crack, man? I don't got no crack, man. Have a seat. Say yes or no. Do you understand your rights? Yes, yes. Okay. Hey. So that big crack rock I found, that's not yours. Sir, okay, no. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what, okay, well then that's good. Is it hers? Because I'm gonna go ask her. It's not mine. Okay, all right, sit tight for me, buddy. All right. 
This is the uh, this is the crack rock that we're sitting on. What you got there, Tony? That's his crack cocaine, and that's his marijuana that they were smoking. Hmm. And he's going he's gonna go to jail, take the ride tonight for possession of crack cocaine. I asked y'all three times. You got any drugs in the car? Didn't I? You did. I did. Yeah. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. And you were honest. You were honest, okay? And for a mister, for a misdemeanor, a little bit of wren missing a roach, all right, I would help you guys out. I would I would probably just have given him a notice to appear, okay? But now for a felony piece of crack cocaine. Now here's the thing, okay? Okay? You're being detained right now because it's your call. All right? Because it's in his immediate possession yeah. in the vicinity of him, okay, he's going to be charged with it, okay? But he's telling me it's not his, it's yours. That the crack is mine? So who's it? It's not mine. Okay. I'm is it his? It's not, it's not mine. Okay, is it his? It is. Okay. Listen to me. I'll talk with you as long as you want me to, okay? All right, but this is not my car, so don't be kicking or banging on the glass. Do you understand? You need to be gentle, Mr. Essen. What did you want to tell me? You ain't taking her, and that's her cup? She says it's yours, man. She says it's mine, and she told you she smoked it. How she gonna tell you it's mine, and she told you she smoked it? <laughs> you wanna tell me it's yours? Now you gonna take me in for this that you see on my lap? What is that? What did I find on you? My car. Then you what did I, what car, I find, you find on you? Her car, then you try to put that on me. Okay. Do you have anything else you want to tell me? I'll ask you one more time if you have anything to say. Is that crack cocaine yours or it's hers? I done told you, man. Okay. It's not my car, man. So you're sticking to the store that that crack isn't yours, right? No. Yeah. Do you know what it looks like? No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have to understand that. Okay. Just because you didn't have it in your possession, you're still in that car. It's your car. I know you Okay. I could have taken you to jail for possession of crack cocaine. All right. And that'd be you against him, your word against his. Right. You know, as far as for a judge. You gotta understand that. You gotta make sure you, you look out for yourself. You have a responsibility. Are you working right now? No, I'm not. You have two kids. I just lost my job. I was working at Dillard's. Okay. Well, you don't need a felony charge. No, I don't. You know? All right, thank you. I've been working uh, patrol for nine years. I have nine years on the department. Um, it's a good place to work. I think we have our good days and our bad days, but uh, certainly the work's out there. Uh, right now we're going to a uh, domestic disturbance uh, day shift was out there earlier today on a subject that was assaulting some kids uh, they couldn't find him earlier but apparently he's back so we're gonna try to see what he has to say about it just gonna go see what's going on there uh, this is an area that we frequent quite a bit mostly for things like fights uh, it's mostly people just not getting along Hi there. Are you guys part of this? Yeah, I'm this is my house. This is your house. What's your name? Lynn. Okay. You're Lynn. Yes. What's going on? Are you a landlord? No, I rent this house. Y you rent this house, yes. and who are they? Those. That's my sister and her boyfriend. Okay. And earlier, I had an incident. He ended up strangling one of my kids, both of my kids, around okay. his arm. I wasn't home, but okay. my kids got marks and everything. The police already know about it and everything. And I'm trying to get them out of my house. He just hit me in my face and everything. Okay. Uh, besides him punching you in the face, has there any been other kind of Well, he was upstairs breaking stuff, and I literally went upstairs because I don't want him here. They, they were supposed to be gone. I literally okay. took my bat up there to scare him to get out Okay. because I don't want him here. 
I wasn't going to touch him with it, right. but he went and grabbed me, and then he put my head, my hand. This that was this morning. Just now. Who hit you in the head? She was hitting her with her palm. And she hit me with a pop, too, when she threw it in the room. And you probably realized you know my hair, though, what? I just went up there, and I said, get out. I don't want you here. You're not supposed to be here. You hurt my kids earlier. Y'all, my, my son could not breathe earlier. Okay. I don't let nobody going to jail. All right. Call me. Careful. No, we're just going to walk you to my patrol car right now. You're just going to walk. walk. We're going down to car 24. Do you have anything on you that can stick to your ear holes? Sorry about that. I didn't get put in a tunnel. You got anything on you? Anything on you that you're not supposed to have? Oh, no, at all, man. Inner lace, your fingers like the Prius. Inner lace. Inner lace. Step Nothing on you that can stick to your ear holes. I'm going to jail. Right Don't now, know yet. Don't know. But we have to figure out what's going on here. Think out. Cause we've been here twice today, so. Have a seat. Watch your hut. Yep. Yeah. They're calling the cops. I came to my work crying, saying someone's calling the cops on him. And he said that the boy has grabbed him by the belt, and he fell down the stairs and he landed on him. And that's all he said. He was crying, and he said that I'm going to jail, and we're over. We're we're coming home to get some of our clothes because we're leaving for the weekend. And she comes and tags us with a bat, and then he grabs the bat, and now he's going to jail. This morning? Okay. When the kids came over and what happened? The little boys from next door came over to my house. Mm -hmm. They were, he was crying, and he said... the he, older one? The older one. Okay. And, he, and I said, what's wrong? And he said, he choked me, and you could see his handprint around the little boy's throat. Oh, really? You could literally see the imprint. And I said, who choked you? He said, Dusty just choked me. And then the little one said, yeah, and I was trying to help my brother, and he got him too. And they had red marks all over the place. And so I said, stay in my house. I'm calling your mom. Uh, when you say all over the place, where? Well, he had, him, he had the handprint around his neck, and the other little boy had red marks all down his chest. Uh, okay. And that's when I told him to stay in my house. Okay. And I was, try I was trying to get a hold of their mom. Not even five minutes later, she showed up. And okay. He told her what happened. Or is because you could literally see the handprints in his neck. Okay. I gotta wipe my whole head off. I can't. Do you want me to hold it or do you want to take it? How am I supposed to hear? And I'm going to jail for uh, I know, domestic and they're supposed item. to, and they're supposed to, I know. How am I gonna get out? I gave her all my money. I, 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 I you're fine. You're gonna go see. You're gonna. Go. Dude, all I did is they grabbed my belt and I went I down with me. How long you guys been staying together in the same house? They've only been here probably about a month. All right. Uh, well, I would say maybe a month and a half now. Okay. She is stating that she doesn't want to stay here anymore. That's fine. And that's that's fine with you. Yep. Um, I mean, I don't have a problem with. And her. I'm gonna and I'm gonna tell them not to come back here. I don't want him anymore. here. They told me literally to take his stuff and put it on the side of the road earlier. That's what he told me to do because he don't want them around. He don't want them. He said that he's dangerous to my kids. Okay. How old are your kids? Ten and twelve. All right. How much is my bond gonna be tomorrow? No. Can you save every penny you got? You I'll go get you dad? out. I'll get you out. Please. I'll get you out. Okay. Do nothing. I'll right get now. you out. Put it in my mouth. No, put the electric in the back no, of the car. No, don't put it in my mouth. Like Wipe my ear. Just wipe the whole side of my face. I'm not for sure. Hopefully this will be enough time and see if they can roll down the window to get me down there. Don't. Can you turn it up? It's out, baby. Okay, Mark, can you start the car? Hey, Dustin. I love you. 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 I love you too. Hey, Dustin, do you understand why you're being arrested? They're making accusations that you put your hands on interpreter. I put my hands on what? On your nephew? On uh, what? On your nephew. I didn't put her hands on her nephew. I swear to God. Okay, but that's what you're being accused of. So. That's why you are being arrested. You understand that? I'm being arrested because they said I choked him or something? You're, yes. What? Oh my God. Okay. Okay. That's why you. That, guy do you understand? Polygraph test in the state of Michigan. Yes. That's for our book. That's cool. Okay. Do you understand why you're being arrested? Yeah, I guess. No, okay. I do. Okay. Thank you for being cooperative. Okay. Okay. One thirty two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty. The police corps academy and been an officer uh, for these last four years. 
These last two I've been with the Central Precinct Street Crimes Unit. Central Precinct's got a great mix of officers. We got uh, some young officers, we got some officers that have been on five to six years, and then we got a, a group of uh, really cemented, uh, experienced officers that uh, can lend uh, some experience to the younger uh, folks to help them out. This is uh, what's known as Waterfront Park. It's uh, there's a high vice area, a lot of marijuana dealing, some heroin, a uh, little bit of cocaine, but not really. All along the seawall here up the Willamette River. People use bikes right up and down make, uh, to make drug deals and hook drug deals as well for the dealers who are probably sitting on a bench over here. Guy, he just came up to our suspected dealer sitting on the bench over there. Man, it looks like he's gonna sit down. He looks like he's got the money out of his pocket. All right, they're sitting down. This is gonna be a go. He's, down, he's looking down like he's counting his money out. He's looking over at something the other guy has. He's selected his bag of it's dope. in his pocket. Now he's getting up and Alrighty. walking away. We're gonna wait till this guy gets out of the area so we don't spook the dealer. And uh, we'll see if we can get some dope off him. All right, here we go. I think he's out of the way now, let's roll. Who are the cops? Yeah. How you doing? Okay. Come over, walk over here. Sure, walk right over here. sure, sure. Walk right over here. You are uh, effectively under arrest right now, okay? okay? Okay, I see you have dope in your pocket right there. It's a little tiny bag. I just did, did you just buy this in the park from the guy no, on the I did, bench? I did not. I just watched you do it. Little okay. sneaky cops are, are spying on you as you're buying dope in the park. Okay. Okay. Is, it, want, it's a little tiny bag. Just, what's that? I don't want to show my Don't worry about my own daily. Police stories right now. My own daily life. Well, you're going to be put in it. Handcuffs, the very least right now. Okay. Hey, tell tell them we have PC, but wait. So you know you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney and have him or her present while being questioned. If you can't afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. No cost. You understand that? Can I sit down? You don't need to sit down. You're fine. I'm, I'm, my legs are bad. You're all good, okay? The hard part's over, okay? You, did you just buy this in the park? I don't admit to it. You don't admit to it? Does it help you the fact that I just watched you do it? I have nothing to say. We spied on you. I have nothing to say. Okay, well, that's fine. But, well, we just watched you. Does the guy have any more? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. We're not walking that way. We're going to walk back over here. And we're going to go arrest him. Baby, calm down, please. That's my last of my money, man. I had right. walked out. I spent every dime that I could on what I had. No, we're just, we just made the wrong decision trying to make extra money, brother. You on parole or probation? No, sir. You've been arrested before? I've been arrested before. Little stuff or big stuff? Little stuff, big stuff. What kind of big stuff? Uh, burglary, forging, safe cracking when I was 18, 19. I got into cocaine pretty heavy. Started robbing people, busting into businesses. Did four years in the pen, well, two years in the penitentiary up in Ohio. What part of Ohio? Uh, Sandusky, well actually Mansfield Penitentiary, and uh, got out of there, maxed out all my time. Never been in trouble with drugs though. It's the first time I've been in trouble with the law with drugs. Okay. Baby, chill out please. It's going to be all right. And what's your girlfriend's name? My girlfriend is Jennifer. Here's the deal with Jennifer's not going to be arrested today, okay? that make you feel a little bit better? Yes, it does. Honestly. Just trying to take care of a family. By selling drugs in the park? I'm not. As bad as it sounds, yeah. I'm I understand real with us. I got, I got a baby coming in a month and a half, bro. Okay, would you, when, you know when, when, when you take your, your baby to the park, I don't want to do you want to be surrounded by a bunch of drug no, dealers? I don't. No, okay, I don't. well then that is, you are effectively that drug dealer. See these people? Okay. Yeah, using, yeah, he's already using told Using the me. waterfront? I mean, that's what you're doing. You are that drug dealer that you don't want to have around your kids. You are that guy. You know, I I don't like to say this, man, but sometimes I have a hard time believing that. But I really don't want to lose my baby, man. I don't want you to either. You know, and I, I know I done wrong. I know I did. We're gonna make sure she knows how to get a hold of you, okay? You're not gonna be weird. You're not gonna be separated from your wife or your girlfriend. I, I can assure you that. All right? all right. I'll make sure she knows how to get a hold of you and where you're going. Okay? We're not just gonna cart. We're not just gonna cart you off, and you're not gonna disappear. Okay? Listen, my lady has no cash, man. We, 
obviously a common skate and everything else, but I mean, me and my lady have nothing, man. She has everything that I came out here with. I spent all my money on what I, on the product I had, man. The money that was in my pocket, man, is 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 mine. I just don't want to put my lady out here with nothing. I mean that. I think they're working with you on that, man. I think they're they're working with you. So have a seat, please. Can you be able to let me know what's going on with yeah, her yeah, before I'll she leaves? Update you. Update you as we go. Are you from Florida? Yeah, I wasn't born in Florida, but okay. yeah, I've grown up in Florida. Well, Portland's a great town. We got a lot of social services that can really help you out. I mean, start digging and start getting on a program, okay? Yeah, I will. Because this is not the end of the world. I know. Okay, in a couple of months, what, three months? You got, you're going to be two months? Two months? Yeah, you're going to have a little months. one? Yeah. All right, do you have a plan for that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, stay to, stay to that plan, all right? Stay true to that and keep your nose in the grindstone, okay? Because this is not the end of the world. This is just a minor setback. Uh, he's going to be out and about, and he'll be back on board with you, and you guys can do this together, okay? Because, okay. you know, life is uh, full, full of setbacks, and you can't do it by yourself, all right? right. You're going need to all, need all the help you can. Right. But remember, you can't come back to the park and sell drugs because we're watching it like a hawk, okay? Oh. All right. Well, it never ceases to amaze me. That bench right there is a gold mine if you want to go find a, a marijuana dealer. We can go right now probably to dinner and come back in an hour and arrest another drug dealer right there at the same bench, I think. Just another day in the park. Outside of work, uh, any chance I get to promote um, public service, whether it be volunteering or what the sheriff's office does or has to offer, um, I'd like to do that. We are a full service agency that is well knitted inside our community and are from the most, for the most part, we are thought highly of and always praised for a job well done. 434, signal 12. Yeah. Woodville and Lawhorn. Got a bad driver here. We're going to try to stop him and see uh, if he's under the influence or... Thirty-four will be at Red Top in Old Woodville. No tag. Ford pickup. Perfect. Shut that truck off and step back here. Come on back. Here. Hop down on your knees. Who else is in that truck? Put your hands behind your back. Huh? Uh, huh? Who else in the truck? Chris. Go. I didn't do nothing wrong. You drive let loose. I'm just trying to do right, sir. Okay. Well, you're doing right by doing what I tell you, okay? Yes, sir. Sit tight right there. Traffic Step out of that truck real slow and come back to me. Can I have your cross on the road? Stand up for me. Ready? Yes, sir. Come on back. Yes, sir. Come on. Cup squat. You got a picture ID on you? Yes, sir. Plant your butt on that, the car. I ain't done a thing wrong. Well, you're riding with you. You got to cuss at me. I got you. Absolutely. Thank you. You got a picture ID with you? Exactly right. Yes, sir. Let me hold on to it. There's my ID. Are right you Christopher? There. Yes, sir. You, you nearly wrecked and driving drunker than Cooter Brown. I mean, you nearly stumbled and fell down when you got out the truck. I'm not used to these shoes, sir. <laughs> Those athletic tennis shoes caused you to stumble? I don't, I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Are there any guns, knives, bombs, drugs, weapons, hand grenades, alcohol, or beverages inside the car? Yeah. Which of the, which of the process? Guns, knives, bombs, drugs, hand grenades, or alcohol, or beverages? Yes, 38. Yes, sir. Is there? Where is it at? It's behind the seat. Is I it think. loaded? I think so. Is the truck yours? Yes, sir. Are you a convicted felon? No, sir. I've never been convicted you? of nothing. Am I? Yeah. Convicted felon? Yes, sir. Is it whose gun is it? it? Ain't mine. I just asked a simple question. Yeah, I don't do that. Rub with him, sir. Sir. Well, okay. I mean, the only thing I done is my wife left me, and that's the only reason I got the gun in the truck because it's mine. 
because it's your property, not yes, because sir. you were wanting to. No, sir. Okay. I swear to God, I swear on my daughter's life. Okay. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not trying to start no trouble or nothing. Right. I'm not saying you were. What drew my attention to you was your erratic driving behavior it, and squealing. It well, it, you know, I would probably, I, when the sheriff gets behind me, typically I drive a no, certain sir, way too. it quit. You want to come back here to the back where it's a little cooler? Get your cigarettes, walk back here to the back. Please, sir. Come on. Something in your pocket? 508, mm. That's it? All right, sir. Oh, here we go. Now we got other problems. You wasn't about to try to get rid of it, were you? No, sir. Because I thought you were messing with your pocket. No, sir. Was it a little bit of weed? Yes, sir. No, it's not a stunt of growth. I didn't, I didn't know it was mine. Somebody slipped it in my pocket, sir. Uh -huh. Slipped it in your pocket? When? At the bar. A whole pack? What bar? County line uh -huh. bar? Yes, sir. You know who done it? No, sir. Well, I bet it was a woman. Probably was. Probably was. I didn't lie, sir. That's one thing I don't do is lie to police. I told you. That's what happened. Please don't make me jail. Hey, listen. Got a, a little 38 revolver um, found next to the driver. Over three and a half years. I mean, I'm sorry. I've been going over three and a half years. I've done nothing wrong, sir. Well, you chose the wrong night tonight, Chris. I'll tell you that, okay? Five you shouldn't. Five twenty-five. Swear to God. Well, I just lost my wife. That's the only reason I was at the bar, sir. On that black Saturn I checked out on. Sit tight for just a second. Morning, Mr. Kellerman. How you doing, sir? Um, on the right-hand side. The small fellow on the right-hand side, he's been at the county line bar, and he can't remember how many beers he had. I stopped him for careless, reckless driving. Okay. Um, his license is expired. Yes, sir. Over here for just a minute for me. Yes, sir. Stand right here. Keep your hands down. Relax. I'm Deputy Keller, the Sheriff's Office, DUI Enforcement Unit. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you know, the deputy's got some concerns about the fact that you may be under the influence of an alcoholic beverage. DUI Enforcement guy is um, doing some roadside sobriety exercises to determine the level of intoxication of the driver of the vehicle. If um, he fails several tests, as mandated by the uh, exercises, then he'll be placed under arrest for suspicion of DUI. You understand that you, the ticket is a civil infraction and you're being arrested now for suspicion of driving under the influence? Yes, sir. Uh, some of my pet peeves out here, frankly, the, the biggest one are, are the people that are out here that are robbing and stealing for their next fix. You know, whether they be getting into the vacant houses and taking out the, the copper piping or or they're actually uh, robbing folks for you know a couple of bucks or the change in their pocket. The majority of the trolls going to be with two male whites, both uh, with no shirt on. Looks like we've got there's some there's kind of disturbance up at the gas gas station at the corner here. Come here, partner. Come here. Put your hands up there on the car. Put your hands up on that car. He just pulled a gun out on okay. you. Hang tight, okay? We'll put it all together. Just hang tight for me. Looks like there's some kind of an altercation with uh, two groups up here. There's a gun recovered from the vehicle just now. Nine millimeter Luger. It's a front seat passenger. He claims he's got a CCW. Um, there's no bullets in it when we got it. There was one on the, laying on the ground and the clip was laying on the ground. Um, if he does have a CCW, he's going to at least get improper transportation in a motor vehicle. We're going to run him, run the gun, see if it's stolen, see if he does have a CCW.
and uh, we'll go from there. Awesome, cool. Why don't you tell me what happened here? Well, that's my baby's mom that worked in there. I just came home the 13th. I guess she was messing with Brandon while I was gone. Where were you? And Locked up? She come here, I had to get some milk and stuff to take home to the baby. Her mom's at her house waiting for me. I guess he come walking up well, in a car with his buddies, and I guess he like I was here talking to her. And they got out and started a fight with me. I just tried to defend myself, and then one of them pulled a gun out on me. Okay. Who was the one that pulled the gun out on you? Uh, the one driving, Jason. Okay. I was just trying to, you know what I mean? I just come home. I got two little boys. I'm not, you know what I mean? I kept telling them to call the police. I was just trying to defend myself. You can ask the store owner. All right, well, we're, we're still sorting it out, like I said, because both you guys are pointing your fingers like this. One saying one did this, and the other saying I mean, the other did it. got guns and stuff. I'm uh, we we, you know we recovered I mean? that already. But the, the, between you and the other guy, it's a fight right now. Right. I mean, if you got a fight, two people get sent on the way, or two people get disorderly conduct. It's that simple. Okay? You can make it a disorderly conduct, and if that's, you know what I mean, I don't want... Well, I appreciate that. The best paper. I just don't want to go to jail. I'm trying to get home with my kids, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, well, hang tight for just a minute for us, okay? Why don't you tell me what brought you here tonight and, what, and why we're here? My, my girlfriend works up here. Your uh, girlfriend does? Yeah. The, the store right there? Yeah, the girl I've been with for about like the past two years since I came home from prison. Uh-huh. And that, that's her baby's dad. Mm -hmm. and he it, just got out of prison? It's, yeah, it's been ongoing beef, like, since he came home. And, uh... I think, I mean, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. He's a dad. He don't do for his kid. His kid calls me dad and all this. Like, so, basically, don't don't nobody want nothing to do with him. And he won't get, like, so he's been threatening me, like, I'll do this, I'll do that. And I was actually coming up here to meet my, my friend was going to pick me up. And okay. uh, I seen him walking through the parking lot. And he swung on me, so we started fighting. So you guys just wrong place, wrong time? I mean, my girlfriend you works up here. So, well, yeah, yeah, that's basically what it was. Okay. So it's just a mutual fight between the two of you? I mean, yeah, like, I'm 25 years old. This is childish. Like, okay. Who, where, really what, what car did you come up here in? I was on foot. Okay. Yeah, who are, who are all the people in the Toyota Corolla? Um, Those are your people? No, well, my friend Jason. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that's my friend. I'm not sure who the driver is. So. Okay. But, I mean, that's... When, when the gun come into play? Um, I'm not sure. Somebody had said, like, I was fighting, but somebody had said, like, he pulled a gun, like, uh, so I, the bigger black dude. They said he pulled it. I really wasn't worried about it. Like, I had my own problems to deal with at the time. Like, it's not licensed to wave that or point it at anybody or threaten anybody with Yeah, as far as, well, like I said, I've never seen him do that. And as far as I, I've met, he's a non I mean, he's never been in trouble before in his life. Okay. So, I mean, as far as, I didn't know that he brandished a pistol or I didn't ever see any gun. You know, so, I, otherwise, it was I, just I, a beat between you and the old man right, with your that, lady. That's what I was focused on. I mean, okay. I, I don't know about anything else, sir. Okay. All right, hang tight, okay? Yes, sir. Tell me what happened tonight. I witnessed uh, two suspects that I know that I know them both. How do you know? I just growed up off the streets. Okay. Uh, they was fighting, and his girlfriend ran out and said, "Just please get him out of here." Uh, referring to him. Referring to Brandon. Okay. And we tried to get him in the car as we was trying to get him to the car. Uh, the su uh, Steve and a, a bunch of his buddies kept on just ripping his shirt, trying to yank him out of the car. We put it in reverse. And all of a sudden, uh, the, it seems like he's the only one engaged in the fight over here, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he seems like he's the only one up here. He was up here by himself. Oh uh, no, he was with him and a few about about ten other black guys that was up here when you guys rolled up here, okay. and they was going to jump him. And it's, all I was going to try to do is get him down the street. She said, "Get him down to the bus stop away from here, for they can't." Jump. Is that what? Is that what? Where the gun, gun came into play? No, the gun come in play when. They tried to pull me out of the car, but I had my seatbelt on. Who tried to pull you out of the car? I, I was, Steve was one of them, and I tried to put one in my in the chamber, and they, they kind of, they got scared and jumped back. But one, And then I, I was so nervous, I didn't know if one went in my chamber or nothing, so I dropped my clip. Well, that's a deadly game to be playing. I, I would, But I was fearing for my life. I understand. I, you know, I, I was innocent. You can ask anybody. I didn't have, I didn't plan on nothing man. You, you have a CCW? Wrong, yeah, I come to the wrong place, let's, wrong time. Let's take a look at a few things, okay? Just hang tight for I me. I appreciate okay? it. All right. We're going to have two people end up cited for uh, disorderly conduct. Right. Um, they'll probably be cited out and released here on the scene, um, separated, and then we're going to have a third party that's going to be cited for uh, improper transportation of a firearm in a vehicle, as well as probably aggravated menacing. Um, evidently, according to some of the witnesses here, he pulled the firearm out and waved it threatening one of the suspects in the fight tonight. So it's going to be the only physical arrest on scene tonight. 132 in Bush, I've got him. They um, got into an argument over several days and eventually 
she threatened to set her husband on fire. He said, I dare you, and she poured lighter fluid on him and lit him on fire. So truth or dare in that household leads to injuries. Well, we're en route right now to a possible uh, shooting that happened here at one of the hotels in the parking garage. Apparently one person's been hit and also the suspect tried to run over a couple people while they were in their car. So... One nor twelve. Oh, okay. One nor twelve. Yeah, he's gonna run. He's running. That's it. That's it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Yeah, he's running. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Move. 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 We're in pursuit right now of him. He's got a gun. He's already shot one person he's seen. We uh, identified him in his vehicle and he took off. So we got him right here. We're going to take him down. Driver of the vehicle, take the keys out of the car. Put him outside the vehicle. Put your hands up now. Put your hands up! Turn around and face away from us. Turn around and face away. Keep your hands where you can see them. Walk back to the sound of my voice. Keep walking backwards. Walk backwards, walk backwards. Stop, go down to your knees. Keep your hands on the back of your head. Put your arms out to your side. Stop resisting, you understand? Let go of my hands! What happened? What happened? These bitches hit me and I'm in. And I drove all the home. And they shot me. They the moment of the car. Okay, when the sirens and lights are chasing you, that's not the bad guys anymore. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. That's why I stopped right here. Roll over. Stay still. Stay still. Stop resisting. You understand? Yo, go, go over there and find our victim. Go to contact security, and they might also be a suspect in this too. He's saying somebody shot at him. So we got people looking for stuff there, Sarge. Right? Yeah. Right here is the magazine. Look, here, this is what I'm understanding you. Wow. You understand that you were coming head on with me, head on with another police vehicle. You almost crashed on uh -huh. you. Listen, you came right at us. Lights right and sirens. Listen. Yeah, I tried to stop. My lights and sirens were going. You almost right. crashed into me, my partner, and right. endangered my lives along with the other citizens of the city. And I'll stop. Not stop talking. Listen. Listen. Okay. okay? Stop talking. Two ears, one mouth for a reason. Listen. Okay. You almost came head on into a collision with police officers. That's why it's bright, sir. Okay. You didn't break. You swerved That's around me and almost crashed no, into the, the bushes. Break. Exactly. Stop arguing. Stop. I spent on the car. Everything was already wow. seen, man. Have a seat. Relax. Exactly. Exactly. Have a seat. I spent on the control, so Just be quiet. Now, stop right here. Sit down. That was right there. Sit down, because you, you're going to jail, so. Wow. Listen up, okay? Keep your feet in the car. I didn't tell you to come out. Well, we're patting you down. We find the magazine, okay, which obviously belongs to a gun. It's not my first day at the rodeo. I, I know when there was a gun involved and where there was a gun involved, okay? So, what we need to do is let's be honest and let's be gentlemen with hey, each other. I understand what you're saying? Where's the you're gun? Make it like I did. I didn't do it. I don't, I'm not going to tell you that you did or didn't do it. I just want to know where the gun I, is, okay? I, we got in a traffic incident uh -huh. when I was leaving the casino. Yeah. And I stopped. Yeah. And this girl in Mercedes Benz uh -huh. on some hoes. Yeah. And they wrapped around my car trying to say it was me. Okay. So they hopped out of the car uh -huh. and took pictures of my license plate. Okay. And after that happened, two, two dudes in the gray car mm -hmm. right there in front of them backed up. He tried to trap me in and he tried to shoot me. Okay. It should be a shell in my car. Now, how come you have a magazine in your pocket? Huh? In my pocket? I ain't have a magazine in my pocket. You had that a, was in the holster. You had a magazine. No, okay. that, was in, that was in the holster, sir. I thought it was going to ride. They weren't pointing at me. I made it right. I told my blade, you, no, I made it right. You're a liar. I'm a liar. Straight up. Mm -hmm. Andre, you're a liar. Why are y'all trying to do me like that? Tell us what happened tonight, ma'am. 
Uh, I was pulling out of the parking garage at the Hard Rock Hotel and a white Grand Prix hit my car. I got out. I assumed he would get out. He didn't. I photographed his license plate when I walked around to the front. He pulled out a gun, shot at the ground, yeah. hit me in the leg, hit my girlfriend in the leg, and then he took off. So he thought he was just going to have a regular accident. You can get out and deal with it like normal human beings, right? Yeah. He didn't want to do business, huh? Nope. All right. Well, that's what we're here for. Where'd you get hit? Just in my leg. A little, little ricochet, yeah, all right? Just a little ricochet. I think I'll live. As you see, we got him in custody, so he's going to go to jail tonight. Thank so. you. At least it's a little satisfaction for the misdeed that happened to you. There. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. All right. The subject was uh, alleged you have set a fire to shot. Whenever you fire a shot, there's gunshot residue that results uh, on your hand from firing the weapon. So we place bags over his hand. That way you can't get any of the residue off. Uh, our crime scene uh, analysis techs, they then come out and they do a gunshot residue test on his hands to uh, see if he did or did not, in fact, a firearm within the last few hours. Andrew, here's, here's, here's the deal, okay? We brought four witnesses over. They said you were the guy, okay? You know, you had the magazine on you. You ran from us. We saw you leaving the scene of the crime. You got in a pursuit with us. You're going to tell me that you didn't do it? I had a pursuit with you? Yeah, you did. Come on, man. You're, you're getting charged with, no, you're getting charged with what? battery deadly weapon, two counts, okay? And you're also getting charged with felony evading police officer. I'm only in charge of the dead of Well, because people said that you were the man who went the over there said, and shot people. The okay? same people that hit my car. You know what you're under arrest for, you're going to jail. Said, That's the end of it, okay? Say, um, That's the end of it. I like the uh, variety of tasks you get to do in one day. I think if I had to sit behind a desk all day, I'd go stir crazy. This year, contacting different types of people from different walks of life and something new every day. Every call is pretty much different. The complainant supporting a fight in the street he is armed with a bat submitting for description. We're responding to an assault call. Apparently a guy hit one of his neighbors with a baseball bat. They're still okay, yelling and screaming going on. Black shirt, black um, that's about all the information we have. Oh, Duh, we Boy, see ya. Why don't you sit down? Sit down. Why don't you sit down? Sit down on the, sit down on the curb, man. Please sit on the curb. Okay. Hey, wait. Hey. Go stand right over on the side of okay. Please sit on the curb. Hey. Will you sit on the curb for me, please? Just sit on the curb. I know. Sit on the curb. We'll have medics come look at you, all right? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey. What's your name? Hey, what's your name? Jerry. Jerry, would you mind sitting down though for me so I can talk to you, please? You got a big, you got a, two big knots on your head, okay? From that guy. Okay. He's a hey, psycho Jerry. Man. It's Jerry, right? Yeah. Okay. Will you please sit down though, so I can talk to you. Hey, who is this guy to you? It's her boyfriend, psycho on, on all of us, man. Okay. Come over here, just freaking out because he wanted to talk to her, man. Okay. So how did you get hit? He just came over. Just keep your hands on your pockets for me. He just come over and smack me, man. With the bat? No, it just by his fist. With his fist? Yeah. Two times? Twice. How many times? So who had the bat? Did you have the bat? Yeah, because dude came out and hit me. Okay. So did you have the bat when he hit you though? No, I did not. Okay. He threw something at me. I don't even so know. So he what threw it? Because he wasn't right next to me, so I know he didn't hit me, but whatever he got me with, he threw it at me. Okay, so tell me the story one more time. Okay, I came over here because me and my girlfriend had a rough night. I wanted to talk to her. I tapped on the window. They said, no, she's not there. She come running out. Immediately, three or four of them come out of the house. Old guy right there punched me right in the face. I fell to the ground. I said, okay. I tried to get back up. He kept hitting me. So I get back up. I left. I hit him as I was going because I was defending myself. And that is exactly what happened. I was defending myself. I, I reported it. Guy came out afterwards in the red shirt. His name's Tony. Uh, threw something at me. I don't know what the hell it was, but he hit me in the side of the head. Who's Baby's the old mother. guy? I guess this is his dad is what they're saying. You hit my dad. Well, yeah, I hit him. He put my teeth through my lips. Yeah. Let's see that again. Okay. 
I mean, hit me square in the face. I didn't do anything. What's your girlfriend's name? Sarah. So why'd she come running out of the house? Well, she, well, she didn't come running out of the house. I seen her running back through the window. I tried to leave. They come running after me. She did not come running out of the house. I'm sorry. I apologize. I wasn't correct. So you asked for Sarah. The old man came out and sucked you right in All the All three of them. There's three or four of them. All three of them. them but out. the old man's the one that hit me. Old man's the first one to hit me. Yes, sir. Uh, dude pulled out a knife. Uh, said he was going to stab me. Tony did. Uh, they said, don't use a knife. Bunch of the girls, don't use a knife. Don't use a knife. So I, they he pulls out a baseball bat. Like he's going to use a baseball bat. I'm running from him at this point in time. I stopped in the street to call 911. He come running out after me and threw something at me, I'm assuming, because he wasn't right next to me. Where were you at me. when he threw it? Right over here in this driveway, the second driveway of that house right there. That's Could have it been that at. beer can that he threw at you? I have no idea, but if it's full, because it hit me hard, it wouldn't okay. have been an empty beer can. That's Grab for sure. a seat for me so you don't black out or anything. Yeah. Medics are on their way. Can you see out of your left eye? Yeah. Where's the other lump at? Oh, on the... Those are pretty big goose eggs. Are you missing any teeth or anything from that? No. Okay. Did you lose consciousness? No. No? I got to suck them the second time. Yeah. Where was he at? Where, where'd you chase him down to? Right here. So both times he hit you were right in here? Yeah, right in on my property. Okay. All right. What do you have, Jeff? Well, according to daughter, he kind of pushed Jerry, and Jerry fell down, and got up and was trying to fight back, and then he knocked him down and just started wailing on him, on Jerry. And then, then Tony kind of got in to pull him off, and they're probably the ones who beat him up. Yeah. So it sounds like he's the... Have we found Tony yet? Tony took off. And the bat, this girl brought the bat out. Oh, the bat she, went she, back inside. No, she got she got the bat because she thought something bad was going to happen. So she came out and saw him fight, and then she dropped the bat. So nobody got hit with the bat. <laughs> so this is all his fist. Yeah. So. Pretty impressive lump, though. So. Yeah. yeah. His story has kind of changed a couple times. Yeah, he he's the one who came over here and started talking. Yeah. Problems. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Paul. Is that guy going to jail as well? No, he's not going to jail tonight. No. no. So I get blasted in my face and then I'm going to jail. You will grab my phone. Just give the phone to my mom. Can do that, mom. Okay. And maybe could I get this gauze on my head, maybe just push it on my head or something like that? Yeah, we'll take it to the hospital. That's cool. That take, uh, that I'm cool? not going to be able to keep it on your head. Right. Well, that's fine. I'm just the gauze. I mean, I don't need... right. well, the gauze is on the ground now. I don't think you want it on your head. There you go. If you want to just uh, tilt your head like that, it might stay up. That's all good. There's four scars here. The uh, homeowner the was trying to defend the honor of this girlfriend, and he's the one that got the lumps on the side of the head. So the ex-boyfriend is going to jail tonight, and hopefully that guy's injuries heal up a little bit. It'll probably be a week before they heal. I've been a police officer in Portland for 23 years, and if it wasn't for my family, I don't know that I could have lasted this long. We see things that don't even make the newspaper, don't even make the news, just the way people treat each other, and it wears on you after a while, and, and I just uh, couldn't have lasted without their support and their, their love. Okay, we're trying to catch up to a car up here. We received information that uh, the driver is delivering uh, narcotics. We got that information from a confidential source. I'll keep up in front. That's where we're moving now. Okay, fair to signal 100 feet. Okay, we're going traffic now uh, at the Villa Apartments. I think I'm far and hard to stop the hill. Can someone go to this out here? Hi, you don't have to step out. I just didn't want, I didn't know what you were reaching for. Can I see your driver's license, license, registration, and proof of insurance, How are please? You? Good. Okay. Hey, can I talk to you out here for a second, please? Yeah. You can hold on to that, sir. Okay. Thank you. You speak good English. Here, hand me the keys yeah. for a second, please. Yeah, you do. 
speak very good, but you speak good English. Thanks. Come on out. Right now. How's it going today? Oh, hands out your pockets. Oh, Manos. okay. If you want to get out, go ahead. Step right here. Step over here. Manos en la cabeza. Do you have any Manos weapons on you at all? No Pistols? Pistolas? Knife? No. Can I check you? Is that okay? Hands on your head and interlace your fingers. Here, interlace your fingers. What kind of work do you do? Working on floors. Wear clothes? No, floors. Can you go sit? Right you guys seem like you're feet? scared, nervous tonight. Are you huh? nervous? Are you afraid? What? Are you afraid of us? No. You seem scared. No. Are you okay? Is it cool? Yeah. Okay. I mean, are you, are you drinking? Are you no. drinking? You're no. kind of driving like this a little bit. Yeah? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just no. a little bit. No drinking tonight? No. No alcohol in the truck? No. Any drugs? No. Any knives? No. Knives? No. Any guns? No. Can I check? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Is it okay? You don't have to let me if you don't want to. Huh? How about with a dog? Can a dog check? Yeah. Is it a, do a dog okay? Okay. Thank you. That okay? Okay. Here's the uh, package of what the the two subjects were trying to get underneath the seat, further under the, the this passenger in the front passenger side actually set this on the ground. And the center passenger tried to kick it underneath the seat further when, um, when we came, or when they were stepping out. I suspect this is going to be the uh, controlled substance. It is about three ounces of cocaine, and you can see that's right off of a brick of cocaine. It's very dense, compact, right off of a kilo. It's powder cocaine. Smells very strong of uh, the odor of cocaine as well. Okay, I need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Come here, we'll get it. Come on. Okay, right now, all three subjects in the car are being taken into custody for distribution. The maroon shirt gentleman there was the center passenger. The guy in the Levi jacket here was the right side passenger. The guy in the Levi jacket, I saw putting the cocaine down. And when he was getting out, I saw the guy in the maroon shirt trying to kick it underneath the uh, seat. So they're all three conspiring in the delivery of the cocaine. Up in. Watch your head. Right now we've got uh, an officer that showed up from another precinct who's a Spanish speaker who's talking to all the subjects in Spanish and he's trying to find out their knowledge, basis of knowledge of the cocaine that was in the car and if they live at the house in which uh, we saw them leave. So far one person has admitted to the knowledge of the cocaine and has actually admitted that he lives in the house and has given us permission to go in the house. Then we'll be on our way to hopefully the next location. Ready? Let's do it. I just talked to uh, officers that are at the house right now and it sounds like they found a small quantity there so far and we'll go and we'll help them continue with the search and see what else we can find. We're pulling up to the house right up here. Make sure we're locked for that Coke. I'm going to put it in the trunk. Okay. How are you? Hey, how's it going? Good. Coming in. How you doing, buddy? Where would it be? Not out for a few hours. Where's the dope you found? That the brown pants, buddy. I got him. Looks like it's been going on for a while, and uh, if this is a rental, um, we'll get him evicted and shut down another drug house in East Precinct. Coke to me. So, traffic stop, we got three ounces of Coke. Come back to the house, get another ounce of Coke, scales, and some user quantities as well. So, the three guys in the truck 
are going to be charged with um, manufacturing, distribution, and possession. And we'll take them down to uh, Multnomah County Jail. and A couple hit and runs. I don't know what else Independence has on them at the moment. They're saying he had a bop and a mailbox. And he's fleeing from the police. We're about to hit the cutoff right up here in a second. Here he is. It's a uh, dark colored vehicle. It's blacked out. He hit the sticks about Blue Ridge at 35th Street. Going southbound or northbound? He just turned. Uh, I believe we're going southbound on Sterling towards 40 Highway. The 40 Highway is going back to the west. He is westbound in the center lane of uh, 40 Highway. He's driving down the center lane, the uh, turn only lane of the highway. I can't, he's still in the center lane trying to avoid all the police that are up there. He just turned southbound on a Sterling. The helicopter's overhead now. The guy bails, he probably didn't have a chance of getting away. Speeds are about 35 right now. The uh, we got the helicopter overhead on top of that, so the guy bails. He probably doesn't have a chance of getting away. He's getting out. Will someone pull my pants up, please? Uh, I'm sure. Are they falling down? Oh, are they falling down? You understand why they ripped you out of the car and threw you on the ground, don't you? Because you didn't stop yeah. right away? Yeah, because... They didn't know what your intentions were? Because... Come on. I mean, my intentions is get away. That was my intentions. Okay. And everybody knew that. No, they just... They, they whipped me because they wanted to whip me. Of that. Because he was all pushed out of shape. Well, that was one of the first officers up there, and I understand you weren't putting your hands behind your back. We had to wrestle you around and get your hands cuffed. Yeah, I mean, it's your job, man. Just do your job. All right. My job was to try to get away. Your job was to catch me. Not quite exactly, but... Yeah, well, I mean, you had a little help. Yeah, you had more help than I had. That's true. All right. If I'd have had a little That's bit it. more help, I might have got away. No, right, when John. you come to Independence, we're going to chase the wheels off of you. Yeah, but I don't even know yeah. why they pulled me over. Okay. Well, yeah. You didn't give him a chance yeah. to have him tell you. No, Step up. I, mean, I wouldn't didn't violate no law. Yeah. I mean, as far as going 90 miles an hour. No, not so talking about driving. Right, come on, fellas. Come on. Wow. I got you. Come on, we got you. We'll stop. Go ahead and step in here so we can go to jail. Well, I got to because my legs are weak. Can you stick this one in? We'll lift this one up for you. How old are you? 70 years old. 70. What do you want it for? Parole violators so you tear up half the city, try to kill people, try to hit a police officer head on? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Well, what are you on parole for? What are you on parole for? Well, I, I ain't going to discuss that. It wasn't about selling no drugs. Either. I didn't say selling drugs. It's a probation no, violation. No, for drugs, right? Yeah, possession. So you're going to tear up the city and, and scare the hell out of people walking around? Well, listen, I've done 13 and a half years. Well, guess what? You're going to do a lot more time now. Well, maybe so. Keep you off the street. Maybe so. You got that, my radio you got that bus stop in Evanston. Wiped no, he it took out. the sign out at 40 and oh, Yeah, he did, hit, he did hit the spikes at 35th Street. 35th, he got spikes? He hit the spikes at 35th. 
I, mean, I thought he was going to lose it several times because he was. He was all over. Him. Yeah, he almost took out some people standing on the side of the road. The independence guy stopped over, so he couldn't turn left, and uh, he came straight over the strips. They didn't. They weren't spread all the way out. They were kind of clumped together. But he hit them. We went back towards starting with three of our cars waiting, and he was driving Lopez, and I saw you guys on on Forty Highway. I'm like, sweet. And then the helicopter's ahead, and I'm like, eh, he ain't going anywhere. Yeah. Appreciate the help, man. Yeah, I'm glad to help. We probably get some charge with Kansas City also for uh, assaulting a police officer, trying to run her, run her into assaulting the police officer. He drove straight into the squad car. Yeah, oh, big deal. No, it ain't, it ain't that. It's just you know. You just don't care. No, I do care. Well, well, tell that to your parole officer. Let me get his info. Where do you live at? his car. You got his info. That's all I have right now. Where do you live at? Well, you obviously got a vehicle, so where do you stay at? I'll stay hmm. Guess you're going to stay with the Department of Corrections from now on? I guess so. All right. I grew up in a small town in Illinois. I moved to Chicago about seven years ago. I lived there for five. I was briefly on with Chicago Department of Aviation Special Police Unit uh, before I got the offer to come to Metro. I made friends with some cops back in Chicago that were just great cops and I decided it's what I needed to do. So we're about to arrive here at the bar where some female impersonators are causing a disturbance, uh, possibly through a beer bottle and uh, possible uh, indecent exposure. So the bartender's calling in and wants us to come and make contact with these subjects. One, nine, three, uh, one, 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 one. Come out here for a minute. Come out here for a minute means come out here for a minute. Step out here. We pull up. Why do you want to talk? Step out. I just got in the bar. We'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. Step outside. Step, step out. Deal. Maybe you can go back in in a minute. Not me. Not me. What you? We got a call that a female in a tan shirt and blue t bottoms oh my God. was that throwing a beer was, bottle. That guy was telling me that I was supposed to what sit guy? in the front of his bar. That bartender. He turned around and told her, told her that, are you in front of my bar, yeah. I would try I to like, go what inside. Are you about? So we turn around, say, so "Oh hell no, no, don't go into that bar." So we we turn around. She came over, and I was like, "That was very disrespectful of him exactly. telling you that." So we, she told me and the guys that were over there, and then two guys were fed up, so they left. Is that a phone, by the way? No. Okay. Yeah, buddy. I got. So why am I getting harassed? Okay, we're almost done with this, okay? Yeah, just come up in front of the car. Why me? No, they're just going to check if you have orange. I don't have orange. All right, super. Do you really think that the bartender is prejudiced? It's just that she told us she was about to go in. Is that, how the, is that how the bottle got thrown? Just because you were fed up with him? Or? I didn't throw the bottle. Who did? As God is my witness on my dead mother's body. Who did then? I'm just asking. I'm just I asking. put it on my dead mother's body. Hello, and I didn't Her even tell you. Oh, That's I what understand. I'm getting. Why are they calling on me? You have any weapons on your, on your jeans? Hey, wait, 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 don't stick your hands don't, in your pockets. Don't put your hands in your pockets. That's the worst thing to do when we ask you if you have weapons. Okay? That's all right. Don't pat yourself down. We'll do that if we need to. All right. We're just going to check, make sure you don't have anything in your pockets, okay? okay? Hands together, like you're praying. What do we got up here? Nothing. Nothing's up here? Like, you don't have... No, I It's don't not have stuffed, or... I'm, I'm just asking. Uh, we got a call of two females throwing bottles. Um, this male in front of me goes by the name of Jay.